God bless everybody. God bless everybody. I'm so honored to be before you today. It has been a wonderful, wonderful week. I thank God for this week. Um, it's been wonderful. I've heard from so many of you. I'm excited about what God is doing. You know, and I want to talk to you today about God has visited his people. It's in the Bible if you ain't tore the page out. Amen, amen. But I want to quote from the book of Colossians, chapter number 1, verse number 12, and verse number 13. Giving thanks unto our Father, who has made us able to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. The inheritance, good God Almighty, the inheritance that we are partakers of are the blessings of God. Amen, amen. We are partakers of the blessings of God. Verse 13 says, that he has delivered us. It's in the Bible. If you haven't told the page out, beloved. It says that God has delivered us from the powers of darkness. And God has translated us into the kingdom. Hallelujah. God has translated us into the kingdom of Christ our Messiah. It's in the Bible. And you got to start acting like that. Amen. Amen. God has visited his people. You know, I've been in Islam. I was a minister in Islam for years. And, and you know, it was kind of a learning process, you know, because Jesus was not seen as God visiting his people. You know, whenever you get a visit from, from God, amen, amen, sometimes he's in somebody that's talking to you. Amen, amen. I mean, the devil gets in people. You know, my grandmama used to tell me, I'm going to beat the hell out of you. Excuse my language, but she did. <laughs> you know, I'm going to beat the devil out of you. You know, but I want to I want to take you to the scriptures and I want to show you exactly what God is saying in this hour. In the book of Luke. Now this is after the coming of Jesus. God came, y'all. I'm convinced that God came in the person of the body of Christ, Christ's body. The Bible tells us that. And that's what Christmas is really all about. You know, you have all these definitions about people, you know, um, you know, they have a problem with Christmas. That's because they've been told that it means other than what it really represents. You know, Christmas is about God coming to earth and, and visiting his people, his people, amen, his people, his chosen people, amen, amen, amen. And I just want to, I just, if y'all will stay with me and hear me out, I'll make it plain. God came to the planet. It was, it was already foretold that he was coming. Let's go. Let's let's get into this teaching because I'm going. I'm I'm in the studio now. I'm recording and producing out of uh, Michigan, and this will probably be my last broadcast live until next year, 2024. I mean that's that's way that's what I'm thinking anyway. So I want you to listen to me. In the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is known as the eagle-eyed prophet. 
He saw down through the telescope of time and foretold the future. He foretold what was coming. That's what prophets do. Prophets will tell you what's coming before it happens. Good God Almighty. Amen. So in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 9, and verse number 6, look at it and go with me as we talk about God has visited his people. Hallelujah. For unto us a child is born. That child was born in Bethlehem over 2,300 years ago. Unto us a child is born. And unto us a son is given. That child became a son. Come on, y'all. He grew. And the government, amen, and the government shall be upon his shoulders. He would have power over the universe and his kingdom he's bringing with him and his glory he's bringing with him and his name. Come on, y'all. And his name. Let's talk about his name for a moment. And his name shall be called Wonderful <laughs> Counselor. Come on. The Mighty God. That's it. His name shall be called. And he's not being called out of his name because he is wonderful. He is a counselor. And then he said, he's the mighty God. Why would anybody have a problem with the word? He's the mighty God. Come on. He's the everlasting father. But he grew from a child. Then a son. <laughs> amen. 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 Into the mighty God. God came. And we're going to see that in the Bible. And that's what, that's what really Christmas is. Christmas is a time when God, 2,300 years ago, visited his people. He came for his people, and he came to give them something that he had. Amen, amen, that he was given. Y'all all right? I just want to talk for a few minutes. Y'all stay with me. Amen. He came in the person. I met God in people before. I met the devil in people before. Amen. And the devil's occupation is to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. It wasn't no man in no red suit with horns and a pitchfork trying to destroy me. It was people. It was, it was, it was Satan and human beings. But God rescued me. He promised he would. Amen. And Colossians 1.13 says that he has delivered us. God delivered us. How did I learn about God? His word. Amen. In the book of Revelation, the Bible said his name shall be called the word of God. There's nothing more powerful than the word of God. No song is as, possible, as powerful. It may have good words, good lyrics. Amen. But the word of God is powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. I'm going somewhere. Don't hang up on me. <laughs> Stay with me. Amen. Amen. I see Sister Vanessa over in Israel. She's online today. So happy to see Brother uh, brother Sammy. He's online today. Amen, amen. Kingdom Builders, Lawn Service, my brother. Amen, amen. But he came, y'all. And he lives now in the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. Colossians. Called First Corinthians, chapter number twelve and verse uh, number twenty-seven. Now you are the body of Christ. You are the body of Christ. 
You are the temple of Christ. You are the temple of the living God. God came. And if he had not come, we wouldn't be teaching like this. You wouldn't be listening like this. You know he came. Hallelujah. You know why? Because you ain't the same. Somebody came because it changed you and me. Good God Almighty. It made us new. It empowered us. Come on, y'all. It gave us the confidence that we never had. It gave us faith. And how did faith come? Faith came by the word of God. The word of God is the Messiah, Jesus. His name should be called the word of God in the book of Revelation. He came. Yes, he did. And Isaiah lets us know, this eagle-eyed prophet lets us know that his name should be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God. The everlasting father, the prince of peace. Yeah, he told us he was coming. And when he came, he had, you know, he came with power. He came with authority. He came with glory. Not only did he come with power, he came with sovereign power. It's in the Bible. If you ain't told the page out. In Daniel chapter number 7, Daniel chapter number 7 and verse number 14, read it. It says he was given. Wait a minute. See, God gave him this before he gave us him. He was given authority. He was given glory. Glory. Yasha, glory. Sovereign power that all nations and people of every language would worship him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away. And his kingdom, and his kingdom is one of a kind that will never be destroyed. Man, the devil been trying to destroy God's kingdom ever since. I could, I could remember anything that looked like the kingdom of God. Satan is out to destroy it. But no weapon formed against us will prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against us in judgment is already condemned. Because we have been delivered from powers of darkness. And we have been translated into the kingdom that was given to him. In Daniel 7 and 14. Look at it. And there was given him authority. There was given him glory. And when Jesus came, he says in John, um, he says in John chapter 17 and verse number 21, and the glory which you have given to me, I've passed it on to them that they may be one even as we are one. Jesus came that when people see you who are in the kingdom and me, who are in the kingdom, they don't just see us, they see him. You become, come on y'all, you become a carbon copy of Christ. Amen, amen. You become, you know, I don't let everybody in my house. But when kingdom builders, lawn service, president, Sammy Rover, when I met him, it was like I was meeting Jesus. He had the spirit. Amen. I could feel the vibration. I said, brother, you're welcome to come into my house. I don't let everybody in my house. Amen, amen. Y'all all right? You got to be able to recognize this truth. In Daniel 7 and verse, first God gave us, a, he said, a son is given. A, a, a son is born. A child is born. A government will be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called Wonderful. Counselor, the mighty God. I went to Israel and I met a man in whom I could recognize the Messiah in, the Christ in, the Spirit of God in. I met a man there. See, there's a lot of unbelievers in the world. That's why things happened to me when I went to Jerusalem. I couldn't even come back and tell folks because they thought I was crazy. They weren't going to believe it anyway. 
I had to wait three years before I could even talk about it. I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> tell you about it next year. What happened to me in Jerusalem. Amen. And it's still on me today. Good God Almighty. Y'all all right? So that was given him. First, listen. Isaiah 9 and 6 says, a son is given. Child is born. A son is given. And that's what, come on, let me, let me redefine Christmas. What it really means. It means God has visited his people. Listen to this. And when he was born or when he came to life in Bethlehem, wise men, it didn't say stupid men, wise men brought him gifts. We still give gifts. Come on. We still giving gifts. Look at all the gifts. You're going to be giving some gifts, you know, uh, to some folks in a couple of weeks. Some of y'all already giving them gifts. Some of y'all don't even wait till December 25th to give gifts. But you don't give gift to a devil. You don't give gift even to a bad child. Amen. Come I'm saying, beloved, he came. He lives. Amen. There's a song called, uh, I Know He Lives. I Can Face Tomorrow. Where, where does he live at? He lives in us. In him, <laughs> we live. In him, we move, and in him, we have our being. The word of God said, for surely you and I are the offspring of God. Yes, we are. Somebody need to say, I'm God offspring. It's in the Bible. Calls you the offspring of God, the heir of God. Join heir with Christ. Good God Almighty tells us that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Amen and amen. So there was given him authority, Daniel 7, 14. There was given him glory. There was given to him sovereign power. Good God Almighty, that all nations and people in every language will worship him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away because his, and his kingdom, which is one of a kind, shall not be destroyed. Now he came to give it to us. Everything that was given to the Messiah, the Messiah came to give it to you. It's in the Bible. If you ain't, tell the page out. In the book of Daniel chapter number seven, the same chapter, and verse number 27, I think y'all are listening right now. Then, the sovereign power and greatness of all the kingdoms under heaven will be handed over. Come on, let me go there. Will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. This is the NIV version of Daniel chapter number 7, verse 27. We saw what was given to him. We saw what was given to us. We saw that what was given to him. Then Daniel 7, 27 says, Then that sovereignty, that power, and greatness of all the kingdoms under the heavens will be handed over to the holy people of the Most High. We got power, y'all. Hey, Amen. I keep telling y'all, they used to laugh at me. When I used to tell them what abracadabra mean. It's a Hebrew word. It ain't even English. Abracadabra means I have the ability to create as I speak. Now you got to grow into that. Amen. You wouldn't have the business that you have if you never spoke it. Amen. You wouldn't have the home that you have if you never spoke it. Amen. You wouldn't even have the dress that you got <laughs> if you never spoke it. I'm going to get me a new dress. The dress waiting on you. Amen. I'm going to get me a new car. The car waiting on you. Amen. Everything that you speak out of your mouth, when you are in the kingdom of God, you can make it happen. Amen. You can say it until you see it. That's that's the that's the privilege. Amen. That's an inheritance that we have. 
Amen, amen. You can say it until you see it, and you can have it. Amen. Jesus said, when you pray, the Messiah. He said, when you pray, you got to pray, y'all. Believe that you have received what you're praying for already. And you shall have it. I believe him. Amen. Sometimes it take a while. <laughs> Sometimes we get impatient. But if you just keep believing, it'll find you. Amen, amen. People will tell you it ain't going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Amen. And where it's going to come from, it's going to come from wherever it is right now. It's going to find me. It's going to find me. Good God Almighty. Everything that I've been praying for has is finding me now. <clears throat> it took me 72 years to get to this point. I was telling Dr. Gloria, my wife, I was telling her I'm glad that I lived to be 72 because I can see things now that I couldn't see when I was 32 and 42 and 52, even 62. It takes time. It took uh, the children of Israel 40 years to finally get into the promised land and all of them that left Egypt didn't end up in it. Amen, amen. So God came in the person of Christ, the Messiah, Yahshua HaMashiach. God came. And people began to recognize who he was. Amen. The only people that was mad that he came was the religious people. And the only people that still are mad that he came are people who are too religious. They, too, they have a zeal for God but not according to knowledge, the Bible says. They're mad that he came. Some people are mad that you changed. They're mad that you're not the same. Amen. They like you the way you used to be. I have people to tell me, man, I like, I like, I like the Jerry I used to know. Well, I'm sorry, he dead. <laughs> the Bible says, if any man be in the Messiah, he becomes a new creature, a new creation. Old things pass away, and behold, all things become new. Oh, people would love for you to be like you used to be, talk like you used to talk, cuss like you used to, like you used to cuss. Get high like you used to get high. I get high now, but I get high on the Word of God, the Spirit of God. Amen. Not no spirit alcohol, the Spirit of God. I'm high right now. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Let me quit it. See, the religious people had a problem with turning water into wine and feeding 5,000 men, uh, not including the children and the women. You know, some say 25,000 people got fed on two fish and five loaves. Somebody say, I don't believe that. Well, you're just not a believer. I believe that. I believe the impossible. I believe that the Messiah can do whatever he pleases to do. Amen. I, just like I believe that you can do whatever you want to do. Amen. You can accomplish anything you want to accomplish, and you don't need money to get it. All you need is faith, the substance of thing hoped for. Amen. And the title deeds of things not seen. All you need is faith. Amen. And faith come by hearing the word of God. Not from singing no song. Not from dancing. Amen. Faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of God. You can accomplish anything you want to accomplish. Right now. Starting today. By opening up your mouth by faith and believing who came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. God came. It's in the Bible. And the only people that was upset with the Messiah coming was religion and religious people. Amen. If you look too much like Christ today, religious people will get angry with you. They got angry with me. Tell me he ain't one of us. He don't preach like we do. He don't hoop like we do. You know, he, he, he no, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, you didn't save me. You didn't deliver me. Amen. You ain't got no kingdom to put me in. Are y'all all right? 
the religious people had a problem then and a lot of the religious people have a problem now if you're too much like Jesus, if you're too much like Christ. I'm telling you, I, I know they threw me out the church. They said, he ain't one of us. Amen. I've been lied on, cheated, mistreated, mishandled. You know, and I'm a nice guy. Amen. But it's okay. Because I'm over it now. <laughs> That's a song. I'm over that. I'm better. Look, Bishop Jake said, if they don't want you in the clique, you ain't supposed to be in the clique. They didn't want me in the clique. No, they said even their own people love me, but they didn't. I'm talking about, somebody know what I'm talking about, but it's okay. Let me go on. They have a problem with you being like Christ. They have a problem with you being holy. They have a problem with that. Religion has a problem with that. You'll get ostracized. You'll get thrown out the church. You'll be lied on, conspired against. And Jesus said, if they did it unto me, they're going to do it to you. I've been there. I've been there. It ain't nothing about responsibilities that I may have had. Hey Amen. They just want to get rid of me. Well, I'm glad they did <laughs> because God never got rid of me. He kept me. Amen. Amen. The religious people, listen to the mindset in John chapter number 11 and verse number 48. Listen to the mindset. He raising the dead now. Come on. He's giving sight to the blind. He's turning water into wine. He walking on water. Amen, amen. And the religious people said, if in John 11 and 48, if we let him go on like this, it's religious, bro. It's, if we let him keep going like this. I was preaching at churches, and when they found out I was preaching at the church, they went and brought everybody. They brought their brothers, their sisters, their cousins, their uncles, their drunk uncles, their, their, uh, their Muslim uh, brother and sister, they all came. Amen and amen. Yeah, we were baptizing Muslims in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. You know, I'm I'm saying, <laughs> but that but religious people don't like you. I, mean, I was on TBN with a bishop, and he was mad with me because the people loved me on TBN. They loved me. They gave me a standing ovation. I started getting invited to churches all over the country. The people love me. They love my teaching. But religious people, leaders, boy, I had a problem. I ain't got no problem now. Amen, amen. Can I go on? In John eleven forty eight, 48, it's in the Bible. If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him now this, this these are the sadducees the pharisees the scribes i mean these were religious people talking about jesus and they talk about you if we let him go on like this everyone will believe in him and the romans check it out and the romans the romans were pagans they still pagans and the Romans will come and take away both our holy place and our nation. Are y'all all right? They, look, the religious people are concerned about Pharaoh. When you're more like Christ, amen, when you walk like Christ, talk like Christ, when you become a carbon copy of Christ, you make enemies. But there were other people who were amazed. <laughs> they were amazed. It's in the Bible. In Luke chapter number 7, verse number 16. Luke 7 and 16. The other people were amazed and recognized God had visited his people. Come on. 
It says in the Amplified Version, fear and profound awe gripped the people, all of them. And they began glorifying God and honoring and praising God, saying, a great prophet has risen among us and God has visited his people. For what? To help and care and provide for them. Let me tell you something. They can try to cut you off. They can, they can try to make you poor as a chess cat. They can try to put you under. But if God visits you and he came in the person of the Messiah, and that's what we celebrating. I don't know what other people are celebrating, but we're celebrating the coming of God in the person of the Messiah, Jesus. And Isaiah told us he was coming. And he came. If he had not come, I would still probably been out there like a lot of my old singing buddies. They're still out there. That's all they can do. That's all they know. Amen. But many of them love God. I'm, I'm, I don't want to make it seem like all of them. Otis Williams of the Temptations. We'll be seeing him in a few weeks. We're going to Vegas and we're going to visit with Otis. We're going to Vegas. We're going to visit with Gladys. Gladys Knight started in the church. Otis Williams started in the church. Lamont McLemore, the fifth dimension, Mellon McCoo, Billy Davis. They started in the church and they still love Jesus. But then you got some of them that's still doing the same thing they was doing when they was in their 20s. But God came. And that's what we celebrating. Amen. And we give each other gifts like the wise man gave Jesus gifts. Hallelujah. God came and it's in the Bible. And this is in the Bible, y'all. In Luke chapter number 7 and verse number 16. He said the people were in awe. And they began glorifying and honoring and praising God. When they saw the work that the Messiah was doing. And they said a great prophet has risen among us. And that's what people say he's just a prophet. They didn't finish the verse. They said a great prophet has risen among us. And God has visited his people. To help and care for them. And provide for them. I'm going to tell you. My help showed up. My provision showed up. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. Everything that the Bible, he provided, he cared for me. He helped me. He's still helping me. He's helping you. He's going to provide for you. Amen. You're going to have it. You're going to get it. You're going to be successful. And no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper because God visited you one day. Yes, he did. To my, you got saved. Well, who saved you? When you get saved, that means somebody saved you. It wasn't the devil. <laughs> he was trying to send you to hell. God saved you because God came. And how did he come now? He came through his word. His word. And the book of Revelation said his name shall be called the word of God. God came. And that's what I'm celebrating. I'm not celebrating no pagan holiday. I'm celebrating the fact that God came. And I met him in people. Hey Amen. I met his spirit in people. Oh, yeah. I met his spirit in people. Amen. Black folks and white folks. I met the spirit of God in white folks. I met the spirit of God in black folks. Amen. I met the spirit of God in people from the islands of the Pacific. And come on, y'all. I met people, man. And God spoke to me through those people. And they told me. I never will forget. I was about six years old in Augusta, Georgia. And I was going to visit my cousins. And the street that I have to go down is called Poplar, Poplar Street. Like you're popular. 
And this little old lady, I tell everybody about this little old lady. She like she might have been in her 80s, I'm about six years old. And she said, little boy, come over here. And I walked up to the fence. She had white hair. She was very, very light complected with white hair. And she laid hands on me. And she said, God has put you together perfectly. She said, you going to be somebody. You know, when I think about her, it's almost like it was yesterday, y'all. It's almost like it was yesterday. She spoke over my life when I was about six years old. I can still see her with that blue and white flowered, little flowered dress on. You know, and telling me, God has put you together perfectly, and you're going to be somebody. You know, and I'm 72. You know, that was um, 66 years ago. Bless her soul. And I met people along, along the way in my life who prophesied over my life. From the House of Prayer, the United House of Prayer of, of all people. Amen. Prophesied over me. And I'm just becoming what they told me I was going to become. I'm here to teach you. I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm not here to, uh, I'm not after your money. Amen. Uh, I think money is after me now. <laughs> Amen. I know anybody ever gave to our work are blessed and they still with us. Amen and amen. Uh -huh. I'm trying to uh, get people to click on to that. And I know we didn't put that on there. Okay, well, on my wife guess. is informing me that somebody's trying to get folks to click on the stuff, updates and promotions. And we ain't clicking on nothing. We're not giving any special offers. No special so offers. that's false. If Let you me say get this. that in Messenger, that's not us. No, it's not us. Let me say this to you. I'm in the studio recording a country western singer. He's one of the best I've ever met, you know, and brought me out of retirement again. You know, I'm in the process of, you know, we're in the process of a motion picture, you know, called From Gold to Glory. The book is doing very good, you know, um, and we're not begging. You know, if you are fed, if you are taught, you bless yourself by giving a man or planting a seed or offering. Our website's been built. It's a beautiful website. And, you know, you pay for it to be built. Shabak Global Ministries.com. You can donate there. Uh, you can donate um, in the Cash App, dollar sign. GMC 6758 dollar sign capital GMC 6758 it's all caps it's all caps you know um if you want the Zelle account you can just inbox us we'll give you that you know however you want to give but you know the bible tells you that too I, of all the things I teach from the bible Jesus said give and it shall be given unto you I believe him press down shaking together running over and we want to thank sister Brenda Stacer Brenda Stacer for telling us that um that the message on that uh promotion says it's an invalid link okay sister Brenda Stacer in Kansas City who has been with us since blog talk radio in 2000 I think 17 you know, over in Kansas City. We thank God for you. Our ambassador in Canada, Sister Zelma, you know, um, who drove here seven years ago from Canada, amen, to hear me speak and has been with us ever since and is a great uh, supporter of our work. Uh, Brother Sammy Rover, you know, um, you know, I think I've talked about you quite a bit, Brother Sammy. Sister Vanessa Williams over in uh, in Israel, you know, uh, she's on, and we thank God for you. The Madisons are on, 
down in Tennessee, great supporters of our ministry, great supporters of our work. You know, um, I never will forget when he came, he didn't even want to be there. And I started preaching and teaching about today is your birthday. Tell God what you want. He's been here ever since. <laughs> he's been getting everything that he's been telling God he wanted to. But anyway, I want to thank my wife, Dr. Gloria. It's been a great year. You know, as I said, I'm in the studio. I'm in the studio today, yesterday. All next week, we're finally going to put this CD out on Gabriel Key, country western singer uh, out of Florida. He's in Plantation, Florida. And he's a great young country western singer. And we're going to be finishing up. Hope to be out on Christmas Day. You can visit his website, GabrielKey.com. GabrielKey, K-E-Y. Dot com and um just stay with us share the word god has visited his people amen amen i'll see you next year in 2024 i should be back the second week of january come back and bring your word i should be full really full by then but remember he did come in the person of the Messiah, Jesus. And he still shows up in people today that he uses to expand the kingdom of God. God bless you and God keep you. That is our prayer.